Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to represent situations involving one or more of the four operations using a number sentence. But first, let's have a drill. Addition 14 13 20 20 Subtraction 6 4 4 Multiplication 15 16 24 80 Division 5 4 7 6 Let's have a review. What is a number sentence? A number sentence is a math statement that shows a complete idea using numbers and symbols like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and equals. It can be used to solve problems and show relationships between numbers. So these are the examples of number sentence in each operation. Number sentence can also have two or more operations in one number sentence. Now, let represent situations involving one or more of the four operations using a number sentence. But first, let's learn the clue words in each operation. For addition, we have sum, total, in all, altogether, add, increase, plus, combine, more than, and together. For subtraction, the clue words are Difference, less than, take away, subtract, minus, decrease, fewer, remain, left, spent, how many more? For multiplication, the clue words are product, times, multiplied by, of, twice, double, each, in total, per. And for division, the clue words are quotient divided by per out of shared equally each how many in each distribute and split now let's have situation number one you had 50 pesos you spent 20 pesos on a snack and then received 10 pesos from your mother how much money do you have now Let's write a number sentence. Since we have this first sentence, you had 50 pesos, so we will just write 50. You spent 20 pesos. Spent means minus or subtraction. So, 50 minus 20. And received 10 pesos. So, received means addition plus 10. Let's finalize our number sentence. 50 minus 20 is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40. Our final number sentence is 50 minus 20 plus 10 equals 40. Situation number 2. A book cost 150 pesos. You bought 3 books and also paid 50 pesos for delivery. How much did you pay in all? To write your number sentence, 
let's focus on the word clues. So our first sentence, a book cost 150 pesos and you bought three books, which means multiplication, three times 150. Paid 50 pesos for delivery, that means plus 50. To get the answer, we will multiply and add. First, 3 times 150 is 450. 450 plus 50 is 500. So our final number sentence is 3 times 150 plus 50 is 500 pesos. Situation number 3. You have 36 candies to share equally with 4 friends. After sharing, you gave two candies back to each friend. How many candies were left? You have 36 candies to share equally with four friends. That means we will divide. 36 divided by 4. After sharing, you gave two candies back to each friend. That means we will subtract the two candies per friend or multiplication. Let's finalize our number sentence. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So our number sentence will be 36 divided by 4 minus 2 times 4 equals 1. Let's try! There are 45 students in a class. 12 students left for a field trip, but 7 new students joined the class later. Our number sentence will be 45 minus 12 plus 7 equals 40. Problem number 2. A store sells pencils in packs for of 6. You buy 4 packs of pencils and your friend gives you 3 extra pencils. Our number sentence will be 4 times 6 plus 3 equals 27. Problem number 3. A farmer has 100 mangoes. He sells 25 mangoes each day for 3 days. How many mangoes are left? Our number sentence will be 100 minus 25 times 3 equals 25. Activity time! Activity number 1. Match each situation to its correct number sentence. Let's answer. Situation number one is letter B. Situation number two, letter A. Situation number three is E. Situation number four is C. And situation number five is D. Activity number two, give the number sentence of each situation.
Let's answer. Number 1 is 4 times 6 plus 5 equals 29. Number 2, 100 minus 25 divided by 5 is 15. Number 3, 24 divided by 6 plus 3 equals 7. Always remember, when representing situations using a number sentence, first understand the problem by identifying the key operations involved. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division through clue words such as total for addition and left for a subtraction. Ensure you must follow the order of operations or the MDAS, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction to perform calculations correctly. Finally, double check that your number sentence accurately reflects the situation and solves the problem effectively. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!